Hey guys, today I have just a really casual book haul to share with you. Um, I have six books here that I have accumulated over the past like month or two, so let's just get right into it. The first thing I picked up was Our Mutual Friend by Charles Dickens, and I grabbed this guy because Katie from Books and Things is currently doing a Dickens read-along where we um, read it in the same kind of serialized format that the Victorian readers would have received the book in, so in chunks. Last month in May we read the first four chapters and then this month I believe we're reading three um, and this is going to be a very long read along. It's going to go through um, I believe mid 2017. So if you're interested in reading a Dickens novel like its original audience would have, definitely join along. Um, the hashtag if you want to talk about it on Twitter is hashtag Dickens along and I believe Katie just put up her first um, discussion video for the read-along so if I can find that I will link all of the information down in the description as always. Then I was browsing around on Amazon one day and just had kind of a weak moment and um, picked up two Keach Johnson books. The first one I grabbed was Fudoki which was one of my top five favorite books of 2015. Um, this is a story about a um, aging imperial princess who is um, preparing to go into retirement and seclusion and writes this tale about a young cat who gets turned mysteriously into a woman by the gods. Um, this is an absolutely fantastic book. When I read it I borrowed a library copy and I um, have been trying to get my hands on a copy and I finally found one that this is technically used but it's in really great condition. It wasn't very expensive at all and I'm just very glad to have this in my possession now. The other Keats Johnson book I picked up was The Fox Woman and I am actually not sure what this one is about. Um, all I really know is that it's set in the same general world and time frame as Fudoki so I'm really expecting to love this. I have heard not much about this actually now that I'm thinking about it. I was going to say I've heard great things because that's kind of the generic booktube thing to say but I don't actually know if I've heard anybody who has actually read this. I know Mercedes um, has picked it up, but I don't know if she's actually read it. So I'm very interested to get to this one sooner rather than later. And then I received this book as part of the Crown Publishing Blogging for Books program, and this is Spinster, Making a Life of One's Own by Katie Bollock. Now, I don't actually know a whole lot about this book. I got kind of sucked in by the back so I will read that to you in a moment but I just kind of like the idea um, I'm a single woman in my mid-twenties now almost mid-twenties and it's just kind of an interesting concept to me so let me read you the back journalist and cultural critic Katie Bollock invites us into her carefully considered passionately lived life weaving together the past and present to examine why she along with more than 100 million American women whose ranks keep growing remain unmarried to trace the roots of this unprecedented demographic shift, Spinster introduces a cast of pioneering women from the last century whose genius, tenacity, and flair for drama have emboldened Bollock to fashion her life on her own terms. Columnist Neith Boyce, essayist Maiv Brennan, social visionary Charlotte Perkins Gilman, poet Edna St. Vincent Millay, and novelist Edith Wharton. By animating their unconventional ideas and personal choices, Bollock shows us that contemporary debates about settling down and having it all are timeless, the crucible in which all thoughtful women have tried for centuries to forge a good life. Intellectually substantial and deeply personal, Spinster offers us a way back into our own lives, a chance to see those splendid years spent young and unencumbered, or middle-aged and, and finally left to our own devices, for what they really are, unbounded and ours to savor. So yeah, I got definitely sucked in by the blurb and I'm really interested to see what this one is about and I will report back once I have read it because this one has to be read and reviewed um, shortly. And then I received two books from my family recently, the first of which is The Woman Warrior by Maxine Hong Kingston. Now, my brother found this here at my parents' house when he was going through a bunch of old high school stuff and as you can see, he's kind of destroyed it a little bit, um, definitely needs some TLC, but I'm incredibly happy to have this in my possession. I didn't realize we owned a copy in the house, otherwise I would have read it already, but I I've heard nothing but amazing things about this and I'm very interested to read it because um, for those of you who don't know I'm very interested in anything um, Asian American I'm interested in Asian culture and um, as 
as an Asian American myself, I'm very interested to read this. And then my parents were in Canada recently and because they know me very well, they brought me back a book. This is The Raven Steals the Light with stories by Bill Reed and Robert Bringhurst. Now, from what I get from the back of this, um, this is a collection of Haida myths and the Haida are, I guess, the indigenous people of Canada. I've always been really interested in myth and I've actually flipped through this already and some of the stories seem vaguely familiar I think from books I used to have when I was younger um, but I'm very much looking forward to getting to this. So these are the books that I have acquired recently and um, I feel like oh, kind of a broken record because I'm just really looking forward to getting to them all but um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Bye!